Let's give the Lord a praise. We have heard a wonderful word of God today. And we ought to give God thanks. It's not, it's not usually you go to churches and you hear these old words. That's right. These are old time words. That's right. Coming from young men. Amen. Amen. That means God is still talking to the church. Yes, he is. Hallelujah. When you hear these things, you must give God thanks. There's favor on us. There's favor on us. While everybody was there talking, well, come to me. You must have that character. Hmm. Your character must speak for you. You can't, you, you, it doesn't make no sense you do anything and your character is all messed up. Amen. Amen. You must bring that character. You must bring that attitude. Hallelujah. Upon doing all of that, you must have a character of a lady. Mm. You know, yeah, you, have, you, have, you have a lot of women around, but they're not lady. My Lord. You must be a lady. And you can't be lady. You can't, you, can't, you can't be going around and I can hear you three miles up the block. Amen, amen, Come amen. On. I can hear you way down the block yelling and shouting uh -huh. and everything. And you're not praising God. Amen. <laughs> the character must be there. Jesus. So make sure you have that character. Amen. Amen. You know why Elder Bear was there talking? I give God thanks for my wife. Thank you, Jesus. I'm telling you, I give God thanks for my wife. Thank you, Lord. I give God thanks for my wife. Amen. I don't know about nobody else's wife. I give God thanks for my wife. Oh, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. You, 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 know, you know, so many times my wife come to me, she said, I'm going to make you stop working. And you I'm like, girl, just do your stuff. She, and, and she'll come to me, I'm going to make you stop working. And I'm telling you, right now she's somewhere doing some business to better our house. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. That's what she's doing right now. And every minute she, I see my phone lit up, she's texting, or, 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 or some money's going into our account. Thank you, Lord. That's what I'm talking about. You have, as the, as the Bible, the Bible talks about, she, she, she's good with her hands. And she's always thinking about the house. Even though she wants to be in church, she takes me, oh, I don't want to be there. She's probably watching right now. Mm -hmm. But she know that she got to do some stuff. She's not lazy. Thank you, Jesus. You know, sometimes you see some, some woman is sitting around doing nothing. Mm -hmm. And then, and then the, the, the man get upset. And then you wonder, what you all so, what you all so upset about? <laughs> Amen. Do something. Amen. Do something. The house falling down in there watching TV soap opera all day. My Lord, my Lord. Children are crying. Children are dirty, smelling. House smelling. No, do something. Amen. Do something. Do something. And we, we, we got some good words for our sisters and our brothers. Here. Amen. Amen. Thank God. You see, I, I, I grew up old school. I grew up in the country. My mom had, had, had eight of us, seven boys and one girl. And every one of the boys know how to cook. Mm. When she was in the kitchen, we better be right there in the kitchen watching. If, if you're not in the farm with, 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 with daddy, you better be right here in the kitchen. And my father usually wake us up early in the morning. So you, 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 you young people don't know nothing, man. You sleep until 12, 1 o'clock. <laughs> we had to get up before the crack of day. Come on now, you, you ain't know nothing yet. Oh, you ain't know about no hard work. Seven-year-old boy bringing carry the animals, go tie them out before you go to school. Before you go to school. Mm. We had to do all of that before we go. And when we come from school, we had to go get them. My goodness. We had to go get them. We need to bring some of these kids down to the country. Amen. And let, and, and, you, you, know, you, know, you know how they train people how to swim? Throw Throw them in the water. <laughs> Throw, them in. Throw them in the water. And I'm telling you, you know, you know, I look back at it sometime and I say it was hard, but it was good. It was good. Wait on him. Thank you, Jesus. Wait on him. Wait on him. Thank it's you, not nice to wait. It doesn't feel good. Especially when we're, when we're, when we're, in, we're in a time now where everybody wants a Burger King way. Have it your way. But no. And, and it's, when, it's when you're waiting, God is molding you. He's Amen. He's fixing you. And when God set up a good character in you, he's, he's not going to send no dirty man to come and mess that up. Okay, Amen. And even when God, even, even, when, even if they come and they say, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm looking at his sister. God's going to discern his heart and realize that he's no good. Amen. And say, no. Amen. That's why I tell my children, any man wants you, better come to me first. Amen. 
I have four girls and one boy. And I added this elevator and I said it in here already. I'm going to make that boy job hard. Mm-hmm. Because when I, when I finish be that daddy in front of them, my daughter says, you know, I'm rough. But you know, I'm, I'm very nice. I don't go to bed until everybody's in the house. Some, some, some father, they join, they snoring down the house. And they're Charlie home. No, I'm staying up until everybody get in the house. Amen, amen. And after they get in, I go check windows and doors. That's right. And make sure everything is locked up. And even my daughter comes and said, did you check? Did you lock the door? She said, yeah. She said, Dad, but I think you need to go check it still. You, you got to make sure everybody is safe. Amen. Now, nowadays, they, they don't know nothing about this. We got to teach them. We got to teach these young boys coming up. We got to teach these young sisters that are coming up. Amen. That's why we need mothers, virtuous mothers. Yes, yes. That are in the house. Yes, that can Lord. teach these young people. Teach them how to cook. Yes, Lord. They, all, all they know is McDonald's and KFC and Popeyes. And they say, oh, if you're hungry, oh, there's a Popeyes around the corner. No, oh, you got to know how to season that food. Amen. And, I, and I, I don't talk about just powder. They get powder and throw some powder together and call that seasoning. No, you got to know how to marinate that food. Cut that onion up. Cut up that scallion. Get some thyme and mix it up and let that meat sit and marinate. <laughs> you went to stir me up. Because you know this is my thing. Amen. Some, 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 some young people taste their food, you wonder where that food came from. Now to clean that kitchen, that chicken. Now to get that, that chicken and clean that chicken. Uh-huh. Sometimes you eat some chicken, the chicken is raw. Raw. Put some 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 vinegar and some lime on it and clean it up. Get that rawness off of it. So when you eat that chicken, you don't want to throw it away in the garbage. You gotta know how to cook. You gotta know how to take care of your house. Mm-hmm. Every every minute, Uber is coming to your house. Uber <laughs> eat. Oh, Society is making us lazy. Yes, it is. But thank God that we we were still holding on to some standards. There's a church still holding on. Amen. Hallelujah. Let us all stand. All right, so we're going to be here all day. God is a good God. Now, 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 now our sisters and our brothers are... are, are, are <laughs> oh, Lord. Thank God for the word. Amen. And listen, does God know just what we need? Amen. Amen. I was talking to Victoria today about the same thing before we came out of the house. Wasn't that Victoria? Talk about the same thing. That some of our sisters need to have that, that wife character. Mm-hmm. Yes. So, 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 so when, as, as a, when, 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 a, when a young man looking at him like, are you married? Because how you walking? Amen. You're not walking it looks like you want you want the whole world to see everything. Right. You cover up, cover yourself up. Mm-hmm. I, I, I tell I tell I, my wife coming out of the house, I look at my wife. And I tell her, I, I shouldn't see a panty line walking out of the house. Amen. I Amen. tell my girls that I said, well, let, let me see how you look. They go to school in the morning, let me see how you look going out of my house. Because what? You're representing me. Amen. Amen. Let me see how you're going out of the house. If we, I'm sleeping. I want one eye. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see you. That's right. And, and, and if you're coming out of the house and I can see your knee, I said, go, go take that skirt. Amen. I shouldn't see your knee walking out of the house. Amen. Come on, come on. We got to bring back these standards back again. The world is stripping these things out from us. But we got to rise up and put these things back in the house again. Amen. And the fear of God be upon, the, upon our people. And know how you must live. Know how you must walk as a child of God. Wait on him. Wait on him. Be of what? Good, good courage. courage. Thank you, Jesus. Be of good courage. Good courage. Wait on him. Some of your sisters are still waiting. Wait. Some of you say, oh, I'm, I'm 28. Still wait. Wait. That's right. Have you ever seen any good food cook fast? Nah. You know what I'm talking about, brother. You, you never see no good food cook fast. Sometimes, sometimes you gotta take it out of the oven and kind of test it, and it's still hard. Stick
stick it back in there. They ain't done yet. I ain't nothing with no blood in it. Oh. No, no, no. My food must be well done. See some people make some fried chicken, you bite it, all of a sudden it's bleeding. No. Stick it back in the oven. Let it cook. Let it, let, let it get well. And then, and then sometime after it's done on one side, what you do? You turn it over. Flip it over. I want it to be done well done. And God, and God is cooking some of us. And sometimes we fail the test. Yes. We fail the test at times. God wants to make you become as well. Pure gold. And sometimes for a gold to get good, you gotta stick it back in the fire. Let it go through the process some more. And you take it out. And sometimes what we can't see, but the person that know how gold's supposed to look, take out that little thing, and you look in there, and you say, no, it ain't ready, it ain't ready, it ain't ready. Stick it back in the fire. Let them cook. Let them get let them go through some more process. I got married when I was 21. My wife was 19. And we're still together. Thank you, Lord. Because I got me a good one. I got me a good one. When, 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 you, see, when you see something, you grab it fast. You don't let it slip. I grabbed that. I grabbed that. that I saw that woman. I said, you're good. Fast. And she brought it.